going to talk with us about a counter movement to the Occupy Wall Street movement that we've all been hearing about in the news. Uh, so, without any further ado, let's get right to it. Uh, welcome to the show, Karen. Thank you, R. It's always a, a pleasure and an honor to be here with you. Uh, I really want to talk with you and your listeners tonight about something that is very important to our community and and to our country as a whole. Um, I've recently had the honor of being appointed executive business liaison between mall tenants and mall security here at the Arden Fair Mall in Sacramento. And what that means in layman's terms is that I am tasked with solving a critical problem uh, one that threatens the very survival of malls across our great country. Although I don't agree with Occupy Wall Street uh, and the uh, folks that are associated with, uh, with that movement, I've been inspired by their young passion and um, women in business acting on that inspiration. And uh, we've launched a counter movement to theirs, which which we're calling Occupy Window Shoppers. Uh, okay, Occupy Window Shoppers? Yeah, um, all right, right now, while I'm on your show, we're live on, on scene at the Art and Fair Mall in Sacramento with a full complement of mall security personnel fully equipped. Uh, we have been given permission from mall ownership to implement what we are calling mall law. Christmas run. 
costing the mall and its tenants just as much as if they were vandalizing the stores uh, or stealing merchandise after, uh, you know, an earthquake or something. I mean, in, in some cases, this window shopping costs us even more than if they were actually looting or stealing. Uh, I'm not sure how you, you, you came up with that, but um, how do you expect to... Uh, I mean, Karen, what steps are you prepared to take for mall law enforcement, for lack of a, a better term? Now, I know a lot of people are scared in America right now because of this economy. 
him, it's only when the window shopper deadbeats are encountered the third time that we charge them with full-blown mauling. Um, we actually charge them and ban them from the mall for the entire shopping season. You know, the entire season. That, that seems way too harsh to me, Karen. Trespassing them from their local mall with the holidays approaching. Uh, Art, you have, have not heard the worst of it. You think that's bad? It gets worse. We've entered into a partnership agreement with the Roseville Mall. And I'm sure some of your listeners are thinking, well, anyone charged like this at the at the Art and Fair Mall can just drive up Interstate 80 a few miles and, and get around it. Well, no, they can't. Because this is a partnership initiative with the Roseville Mall ownership. And the beauty of it is, that's nothing compared to the punishment that they're going to get the rest of the year from their kids, Art. When their kids find out their parents are banned from GameStop, you know, and the Apple Store, I've seen poltergeist art. You know, houses possessed by angry, evil spirits that were more peaceful and forgiving than one where a teenager can't get their new Xbox. And in my opinion, by the way, to deny your kids an Xbox or an Apple iPod for Christmas is a form of child abuse. But Karen, oh, you, you're the cause of that. It's not the parent. You're, you're the one banning them from the mall so that they can't get that for their kid. Art, did I drive mom to the mall with a gun to her head? Did I tell her to just go browse around with her girlfriends? Was it me who suggested that they all share one slice at the Cheesecake Factory? No. Mom chose to do that on her own accord, and someone has to do the dirty job of holding her to the flame, giving her a scarlet letter, so to speak, and make an example out of her. If, uh, hold on a second, Karen. If, if you're just tuning in and trying to see if something is wrong with your radio, uh, let me just say you're not alone, because I'm second-guessing uh, myself, thinking something's wrong with, with me having chosen to do this program. Uh, but I'm Art Bell, and you're listening to Coast to Coast. My guest on the program tonight is Miss Karen Blakeman, president of Women in Business in Sacramento, California, uh, talking with us about the new Occupy Window Shoppers policy at the Arden Fair Mall, instituted uh, as a, uh, a rebuttal movement of sorts to the Occupy Wall Street movement. Uh, Karen, let me just ask you, do you, do you really think you are going to accomplish anything with this aggressive business posture, other than... Uh, just making shoppers extraordinarily angry with you. We estimate there will be, oh, about a 12-month corrective lag from our efforts with the Occupy Window Shoppers Initiative. Uh, when, when the violators' kids don't get anything but crap from the local dollar store for Christmas, like I said earlier, uh, the little devils will discipline their parents and that will be the worst punishment for the parents. Uh, these deadbeat window shoppers will learn their lesson, and they will become much better consumers next year. We believe that we'll actually make up for this year's losses from banning them, um, because they'll be so motivated next year to make the pain stop. That's what's going to be in their minds. The kids are going to pressure them all year long, and make life so miserable, they're just going to want to make the pain stop next year, and they're going to double, maybe triple their purchases uh, to appease the kids. Uh, may I give out our website, Art? Uh, yes, go, go ahead, quickly. Okay, it's www. Uh, Karen, you, you don't have to give out the W's now. Uh, we all, at this point, uh, here in the 21st century, we know, we know the website begins with the W's. <sighs> Art, you can be so rude and petty sometimes, you know. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I just want to make sure. You never know. There might be someone out there that, that you know, that's just learning about. Uh, uh, Karen, just go ahead and, and, uh, uh, and give out the website. Start start with just the beginning uh, without the W's. I want to give out the W's. Karen, for God's sake. All right, go ahead. www. Occupy Window Shoppers Mall Law Initiative to stop delinquent parents from coming. Oh, Karen, are, are, are you really still giving out the website? You can't be still giving it out. It's that long. Art, why are you being so abusive to me? I'm not. I'm not. 
about this. I didn't pay you $10,000. Okay, for, for that advice. You, <laughs> Karen, you, you, women in business paid $10,000 for the advice that that should be your website? Our, look, I don't want to get into uh, our specific uh, involvement with our consultants. Uh, Karen, I would have taken five grand to tell you that it should just be OccupyWindowShoppers.com uh, and that might have even been a little too long. Can I please finish giving out the website? Alright, Karen, go ahead. This is ridiculous. It's the most, it's the longest website I've ever heard in my life, but go ahead. Occupy Window Shoppers Mall Law Initiative to stop delinquent parents from coming to the mall without spending any money mean-spirited and, and, and full of 
five years old. Well, he was 85, Karen? Are you out of your, your ever-loving mind? Look, he was terrorizing customers. He was frightening shoppers who were spending money, jeopardizing the lives of law-abiding American consumers. All right, we gave him every chance, but when he crossed that line of, of jeopardizing lives and frightening shoppers who were spending money, when he crossed that line, Art, we had no choice but to take him out with, with the taser. Karen, you, you've obviously, you, you've obviously lost your mind. Well, you, you don't see that you, you had to have driven him to that behavior. You were the cause of it. It's becoming crystal clear to me, Karen, that, that you don't care about anything but money. Your, your entire motivation in all this seems to be only unbridled greed.